Hey there again, Journeyman here, and in this video, what I want to do is share with you um, a squaring technique that was taught to me by Market Oculations. You can find them on Twitter, and uh, it involves some uh, price reversal findings, some GAN boxes, some Fibonacci channels and retracements, um, and some Fibonacci spirals. So I actually had this chart all built out nice and pretty, but go charting lost it during one of the shoots that I was doing so I'm gonna start over and actually draw this from scratch so forgive the lengthiness of this video but I'll try to walk through it as I create it So first off, I'm looking at the uh, Ethereum USD chart from Coinbase. Uh, we're set to a day. Uh, he recommended that we use a three-day chart, but because of the limitations, I can't do that. And uh, he said for the scale to be set to $3 a day, but we won't be able to do that. We'll only be able to do you know, $1 because we're looking at a daily chart. But I'll get to that here in a second. Also, to find these reversal points, which is the basis of the chart to start with, is uh, he said it's best to look at it from a price action point of the OHLC, where you basically have these bars here with the open and closes, which make little bridges or whatever you want to call them. So how do we find this, uh, this reversal point? Well, what we're looking for specifically is something that looks like this. Let's zoom in here right here this this bar right here this green bar so why does it make this the, rever the reversal point you have your open here your close here we have a wick we go over here and we open we wick further down but explode all the way back up here to the top with a little bit of wicking but the thing is we we also close above the open so this is a bullish engulfing uh, bar and you want the the uh, the wick to come down further than the low of the previous day but also explode higher than the high of the previous day as well so that's what makes our reversal candle or reversal bar in this case and that's what you're looking for when you're building this kind of a chart so next uh, we're going to draw a circle and base it off of this reversal So like I said, bear with me because this might take a little longer than the last video because of how I'm going to have to explain it. Make sure my magnet's turned on. So I'm going to go from the base to the top. We have that now. I also like crosshairs. So when I'm laying my GAN boxes, it's easy to see where I'm at. Uh, I just saw it. Crosshair, crosshair, crosshair. There you are. Oh, come on. All right, and now we have to square the chart. So right now it's just randomly set to whatever you know is being pulled, and you can see this the circle moves with it. But we want to square this this up here to the chart. So we're going to go over to our aspect ratio uh, axis and lock axis ratio. We're we're at three right now. We're going to go to one. So that's one dollar per one day for the scale and if you'll notice hold it nicely now when we get the GAN box laid we'll finally figure out if we're square but let's proceed okay so where do we go from here next we want to lay a fib channel and a fib retracement so let's start with our uh, fib channel here Fibonacci channel why did it do that good chart it's got some odd oddities to it sometimes let's try it again Fib channel there we go all right so this one's already modified but if you'll whenever you make yours it's gonna have a, a really long extension ladder on it So just be mindful of that. 
Okay, so what am I looking for when I lay this, right? So let's go to the settings on this. And you'll see I have only the 0, the 236 to 382.5618 and 7.86 turned on. There's one other one that I need, and it's the 0.25. But it doesn't appear to be showing properly because I don't see a line there. I need that 0.25. So let me take out the 236 and make that a 2.5. There we go. So now we're at 2.5. And what we're going to do is take the 2.5 and we're going to make this right here line up exactly with the edge of our circle. And try to be as accurate as possible because it will matter on your chart. The more accurate the better. So there's our first set. Now we're going to go with a Fibonacci retracement. There we go. I'm going reversed. So we're going to pull from that low. And what, where does this 100 go? Well, what we're looking for is the 0.25 again, or the 25%. So on here, you may have to add it. I added it right there, the 0.25. And make things a little bit less confusing, I'll take out the 236 again. So now you see 0.25. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this and line it up right at the top of the circle. like so. And then we're going to take this and we're not going to move anything quite yet with that. Next I'm going to draw the GAN box. And where am I going with this? going to the 100 and I'm lining up this fib channel with that as well this is the first box so I'm going to color code it accordingly as the first box which is going to be red uh, here's the settings for my GAN box everything zeroed out except for the zero the half and the one on each of them, no background, uh, and angles are turned on. So as you can see now, the 50 landed perfectly on a pivot. The price has respected the 45, nicely touching. So we'll take this now back here and match it up to the 100. So the, the whole purpose of that Fibonacci retracement and the Fibonacci channel was to make sure that a, a piece of this pie here hit the 25% and the 25%. So since we have both of those, it squared our GAN box for us. there you have it there's the first scan box price is respecting the angles beautifully so now you just continue on now we can continue to fractal out but one other thing that he had showed me was let's go ahead and lay our some rectangles here so we can lay our fib spirals the rectangle is going to go from the 618, which is phi, to this one right here, which is 618. Draw another one.
I got the magnet on, so I don't want it to stick. And sometimes, like, the day doesn't line up exactly right, but just try to get it as close as possible. So there is our golden ratio. From there, we're going to pull a fib spiral. Uh, just so you can see it here, under sacred geometry, Fibonacci spiral. And we're going to hit this pocket right here. This is the 618 to the 618 between the fib channel and the fib retracement and we're going to go to the home which is the zero so there's our first one and then we're going to draw another one and the second one we're going to flip change the colors too since we'll, we're on red we'll make it red uh, we're gonna go clockwise so once counterclockwise and once clockwise so we'll go red uh, dashed red dashed so we have a clockwise not clockwise or counterclockwise and there's our, our fib spirals mixed in. Nailing the zero point, and if you'll notice, we can come out now and look at that, and look at this. So, so far, I'd say we're really square. So next part is, let's lay the next level. Fractal it out. And it's really easy because we've done the hard work with this one. We can come in here, hit that reversal spot again. Remember, we're red, so we'll change this to orange. The next, the next level. So we keep things organized. And what we're looking for is this center point here to go to the 1-1 one, one box that we first laid with the first scan box. See how we're covering it? And if you'll notice... We're right on the 200 Fibonacci retracement as well. That is square. So once again, we can do the same exact method to this and then draw our next um, Fib spiral based off of the golden zone. So to make things a little less hairy, Take that off, take that off, we're going to hide the first GAN box, the rectangles will go, we'll take the fib out temporarily, so we're just looking at this. Now we're going to draw our Fibonacci channels. So that was our Fibonacci retracement. Now we're going to do the Fibonacci channel. Yeah. It doesn't have to go all the way up. I just, I like it going all the way up. Now, if you don't know where the 618, I've turned it off, but on the channel, you can come in here and tell it to turn on the levels, so you can see exactly where your 618's at. I'll leave it on for now. So we'll come back down, make our rectangle. The day doesn't quite help line it up right, but as close as we can get it. 
And another one. And this one's not going to line up perfectly either. So now we have our next golden pocket right here. Drop another Fibonacci spiral. I'm going to try to line it up as best as we can and pull back home. And we'll do it. Take that one, change the color. This is round two. Orange. Draw another Fibonacci spiral. Actually, before we draw it, I'm going to try to get that on 45 better. I'm trying to get that line right there, the 45 to line up. So then we'll put the next one right there. Drop it on home base. Flip it to clockwise. And let's see what we got. So that's our days right there. So you can't get it exactly on that spot. So I'm just going to line it up with the 45 degree. And now we have our next one. Catching the highs. Look how that beautifully caught that. So, so forth and so on. So you, now that you have that, you can grab and build the next one. And I'm just going to stop at the GAM box, but just so you can see, you line it up with that 50-50 point. Come on. Change that one. That is our third box. Yellow. And there you have it. There's your next one. So you'll know that you're square based on, on how the price is reacting to each GAM box. So as you can see in the bigger one, it shot up. We're, we're touching, 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 touching just broke through here so if we don't pick back up we're going to come back and touch here might follow that all the way down to here and then bounce back up we'll see but now you have your game boxes and now you can go and actually take this fib spiral and go build it out up here and make the next one so this is how to square a chart using some geometry, some GAM boxes, some Fibonacci channels, some Fibonacci retracements, some Fibonacci spirals. Hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in another video.